Hello and welcome to your new moon video for the new moon in Chitra Nakshatra, which is going to take place at about a quarter to five in the morning, uh, London time on the 9th of October. Uh, if you're in the States, this new moon uh, will be exact on the 8th of October. So we all like win-win situations. And sometimes we find ourselves in positions where we just we kind of hold out for what we sense is going to be a win-win situation. But we live in a world of duality. And for the idealist, that is really difficult, right? Because we have this ideal scenario where both parties can feel like they're getting what they want out of a situation. But really, when you look at a situation, we're all here interacting on very subtle and also very direct levels at all times. And sometimes our path is not going to match up with the path of somebody else. And as much as we might like to be able to find a situation that's really going to make both parties feel absolutely positively happy, it may not necessarily be possible, okay? So then there's that old concept of, well, you win some and you lose some. But what are you really winning? And what are you really losing? And if you're looking for a win-win situation, what are both parties trying to win? At the end of the day, all that we can really do is be clear about what's in here. At the end of the day, all that we can really do is try to align our intent and equally align our actions in connection with what feels right in here. That's the confusing bit, though, <laughs> okay, because quite often we do that and we go, okay, I'm clear on what I really feel inside of myself. I'm clear on where I really stand on this. Then we go through one experience after the other, and all of a sudden, the landscape is altering. In addition to that, what's in here feels like it's altering. But when we go through that experience, what stays steady? What is solid? And what is actually altering? And is it actually altering at all? So if this boils down to your sense of ethics, is your sense of ethics really altering at all? No, it's not. Your core ethics are always there. They're always solid. What's altering on the surface maybe are beliefs. Beliefs are things that we think. Beliefs are things that we put faith in. Beliefs are things that we give a lot of credit to but quite often, we don't really know for sure. Otherwise, why would we call them belief? A belief uh, kind of gives you the concept that you have to believe in something rather than knowing something. Ethics are things that we know for sure in here. And when that is your driving force, you're living in alignment with your soul. And then it's not a case of winning. And it's not a case of losing. It's just a case of being. And perhaps that's the particular type of situation that you find yourself in now. At the time that this uh, particular new moon is taking place, we have three planets connecting to each other in Chitra Nakshatra. Uh, with Chitra Nakshatra, there's this whole level of going, well, you know what? I just want to be able to enjoy what feels right in here. And one part of me feels like I need to be uh, ferocious in alignment with that and accepting nothing less than what feels to be absolutely the best in association with that. And on another level, that's absolutely right. But notice I said on another level, because mixed in with this whole scenario is this feeling that you're somehow teetering on the edge of a change. 
there's a situation that you're dealing with where there's a sacrifice that's being made. There's a set of limitations that you're dealing with. And in order to honor what really feels like it is your core truth, you're having to deal with all these different restrictions, all these different uh, things that are kind of holding you back. And on one level, you're trying to make peace with that. And on another level, you're really having a hard time making peace with that because one part of you is feeling this independent urge within that's just going, I really need to break free of the framework. Well, that's taking place because of Venus's retrograde motion through Swati Nakshatra, connecting with Jupiter in Vishaka Nakshatra right now. Um, basically, Jupiter is as well um, building up to a alignment with Rahu in Pusha Nakshatra. That's going to become more precise about the beginning of November. At that time, things should begin to become a little clearer about what it is that you're actually willing to sacrifice for and what it is that you actually hold sacred and are not willing to deal with limitations on. So confusing, yes, it's confusing right now because again, you'd like to have a win-win situation. But again, there's no winning. There's nobody that's going to win in this. Equally, there's nobody that's going to lose in this. When people are aligning with what is true and right within themselves, you can do nothing else. And that's the path that you're meant to be on. When you're not doing that, again, that's a choice that you're making. So you're always um, on a certain level. And I have to be very careful with that statement. On a certain level, you're always connected to that choice. You can always make a choice to make that sacrifice, or you can always make a choice to go, I don't want to make that sacrifice. Either way, it's a choice, and it's a choice that's being willfully made, even if you believe that free will is an illusion, right? Because if free will is an illusion and everything is God's will, well, then everything is all connected to God, and that means you're connected to God, and that means your free will is connected to all that, and ooh, my head's really beginning to spin around right now, okay? But we're not going to go deeply down that rabbit hole at the moment. We're just going to keep it... <laughs> right here in the moment and recognize that you do have a choice. And in making a choice, you can't blame yourself. And in making a choice, you can't really blame somebody else. So when it comes down to that, is there truly any winning? And is there truly any losing? Think about that. And if you need a little bit of help with the difficult situation that you're perhaps trying to navigate through, I should mention that I do offer several different levels of astrological service, all of which are available through the astrological services page of my website. If you're interested in scheduling with me, you can do so at the link above. That's going to do it for this look at the new moon in Chitra Nakshatra, which takes place on the 9th of October, 2018. Until next time please do take the very best care of yourself. Bye now.